Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So we're here at Cop Garden. We're going to do like a quick sale of some of the, well, old sneakers that I have that I haven't been using. So one of the things that I usually do to be able to keep on affording buying a lot of sneakers is that I sell those that I don't use anymore. And usually when I sell them, they're really sold for really ridiculously low prices, mainly because apart from me wanting to just get them out fast, I think it's a great opportunity for other people who can't afford some of the sneakers to, you know, to pay like a lot for them to get them at good prices. So we're here for the, I think for the, well, wait, maybe for the afternoon. So yeah, I'll take a few videos and you guys will see what happens throughout the day. So just so you guys have an idea of what's for sale, so this is the Jordan 1 Game Royal. We're selling it for like 7,000 pesos, a little over 100, 130, 140 US. We have the Shadows, also in size 13, still pretty good condition, same price, 7,000 pesos. We have like a bunch of Ultra Boosts, some of which are still dead stock, like this one. Haven't actually used this, I bought this from Japan. Uh, this one I'm selling for 5,000 or a little less than $100. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my Japan vlogs yet, I will put the link down below to the playlist so you can check it out, well, if you missed it. We also have like a bunch of other Ultra Boosts from the Plimas to the V2 Multicolors. This one's really nice, perfect for the summer. Uh, this one we're just selling again for 5,000 pesos or $100 uh, here at Cop Garden. Apart from that, we have really, really good steals from the Puma Thunder Spectras. This one we're just selling for like 2,500 pesos, so in USD, that's like $50 for a Puma Thunder Spectra that I probably wore like twice. <laughs> so that's a pretty good deal if you think about it. We also have the Converse Golf Le Fleur. Le Fleur. So this one we're just selling for like 3,000 pesos. I literally wore this once when I did the review for it. I wore it once and I never wore it again. So we're just selling it for almost like, oh no, less than half the price of how much I got this. This was sold here in the Philippines for like 7,700 pesos, selling it for 3,000. I'm also selling like this off-white, I don't know, like messenger bag, very small messenger bag uh, binder clip. This one I got for like over a thousand dollars or almost like 58,000 pesos. I'm selling it for half the price, 30,000 just to let it go fast. Quick story about this one, I actually bought this from Off-White Manila. Uh, problem is I only got it size 12. Apparently you really have to go like a half size or a full size up. So that's the reason why I'm selling it. So I'll probably use the funds to be able to buy one in size 13. So Air Max 90, Desert War. Apart from the sneakers that I am selling, of course, you can also check out, well, the sneakers that Cop Garden is, sell, Cop Garden is selling and they do have a bunch of steals still available here at the store. This is the Zoom Fly, already used, but they're selling it for like 20,000 pesos, not bad. Uh, it's a bit, bit beat up, but nothing like a little cleaning can, can fix uh, and work out. And then we also have like this Zoom Fly, uh, Zoom Fly. we have this off-white 3.0 off-court. They're selling it for just 19,000 pesos. It's actually size 12. So I've been thinking of getting it, but like I have so many shoes already and I'm trying to sell, so I buy more. So yeah, this one, another steal if you think about it, because I think this one sells for like 38, 40,000 pesos local. Oh, and if you guys missed like the Fear of God drop here in the Philippines, they have the Mocha, oh, this is the Raid one, selling it for 18,000 pesos. They also have the Mocha Sin, so this one is at 13,000 pesos. Again, the Fear of God, which dropped like a few days ago. So if you didn't get like win one during the raffle, can pick this one up still a pretty good price if you think about it and i actually have like one sneaker that i'm thinking of buying for today well if ever i sell a lot of sneakers this is the jordan 3 air max day so it is in that white and red colorway it is size 13 so i do usually go like a size up when it comes to my jordan 3s and this one they're selling for just 10,000 pesos at size 13 so seriously thinking of bringing this one home especially since 
it's still dead stock. So guys, this one is sitting here, the Air Max 97 Shanghai Kaleidoscope. It's in size 10. Just a shout out to anybody who's selling like a size 13 of this one. Please hit me up on Instagram. I will buy it from you. Um, shout out to my mommy because he brought me here. Friends, my brother. Thank you. So I'm here with Camille and Ken. So they actually started a new company for sneaker bags. It's called Vault. So I'll let uh, both of them explain what it is, but it's a really nice duffel bag. It comes with a lot of extras and I will be doing like a more extensive video about it. Uh, they're just about to start the company so they don't have like a lot of supplies yet but I think they'll be doing a pre-order soon. So if that happens, I'll make sure to put a link on Instagram so you guys can order if you decide to buy one. So I'll let them do the talking for now. Well, hey guys, right now I have with me the Vault duffel bag. It's for sneakers. It can fit up to four pairs of shoes up to size 14 and there are, there are adjustable dividers if you remove it and um, adjust it to however you want it. There, there are three inner pockets. You can fit like a laptop. Here, yeah, right? your laptop mm -hmm. here, uh, maybe an iPad or something. And the bag comes with a keychain for for dust bags, and uh, the packaging can be used also as a laundry bag when you travel. Okay, so usually, guys, if you buy bags like this, it doesn't come with a lot of extras like those. It's just this bag. So I think that's one of the nicer things about it. You have these really cool looking, you know, dust bags. Because you know one of the problems they have? Wait, that. Uh, so they see me. <laughs> you know one of the problems they have with bags like this? Is that if your shoes are dirty and you put it here, it actually stains the interior part. So eventually the interior part of the bag looks really dirty. So the extra dust bags are actually really nice and needed for, you know, taking care of your sneakers and stuff. So how, where can they find you and how much? Oh, they could look for us on Instagram at Vault Supply Manila, and we're selling this bag for four five nine nine. Amura. <laughs> also, there are three outer pockets. You could put some stuff here, one and the back. here, back, and, and here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Congrats on the business, and I wish you guys all Thank the you. best. Boom. What's up? Hey, What's man. up, bro? Yo, I'm in the Philippines right now. Yeah. We're in Manila in the Philippines, first, all the way from Texas. First time outside Texas, First right? time outside of the U.S. And it looks like we got some heat here. <laughs> A lot, not let's, just Let's some. check out what they got, bro. Oh my gosh, man. Wow, the high beast culture is pretty strong here, man. It's pretty strong. Oh, I can already tell you, I got my favorite shoes of all time. Concord 11 right here. The newer release. Bam, pretty fire. Brand new, actually, dead stock. What do you That's think it. about the snake skin version that the came out? The snake skin? This one uh, over here. Yeah. I'm not, a, I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of these. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan, honestly. Same, I think, same. I pr prefer this one. I, pr I prefer the Concords. I mean, it, it's just timeless, that they're one. They're kind of ugly. They're kind of ugly. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's second see what pick. else they got. Okay, second pick. Honestly, so I'm going to go a little high piece on this one. I'm not a huge fan of the way they look. But these are fire. You can't deny it. Fear of Gods, they just came out. I'm super surprised to see them. It's my first time seeing them. This is fire right here. This is my second pick. What do you right think here. about this one? Okay, so like I already yeah, now I already said this in my vlog. I think that these kind of look like something that a nurse would wear, like in a hospital. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, they look comfortable, but they look like a hospital shoe. That's what, that's, that's what I'm thinking right now. I don't know. No offense to anybody that got them, but I mean, I'm not a huge fan. Let's see. Last but not least, let's see what they got. Um, okay, okay. I know I saw some more fire. I'm looking around a little bit more. This is kind of tough because they have so much heat. It's, it's hard to pick. My last pick would have to be, I'm thinking, oh, you know what? These back here. The, uh, they just came out. The 700s. Analogs. The analogs right here. This is Flame. All white sneakers. I'm a huge fan of. This is the best colorway to come out so far, I think, in my opinion. But I'll probably get them dirty in like two seconds. So if I would wear them, I mean, they wouldn't last long. But this is heat for your feet. Awesome. And those are my top three picks out here at Cop Garden. It's a great time in the Philippines. We're just starting. So be on the lookout for more videos because it's going to be hot. Thanks, man. Let's do it, bro. So guys, it's 3-ish o'clock. So we're almost done. And we pretty much sold out most of the stuff that we have. The only thing remaining are the off-white kicks as well as some of the Puma Thunder Spectras and the J1. So to everybody who came out, thank you very much. I appreciate it, appreciate all the support. And I hope to see you guys next time we do something like this here at Cop Garden. That's it for now. Peace, God bless, what's up?
Okay, so we're here at Big Boy Cheng's house, DJ Big Boy Cheng. Where we actually brought Tim from Legit Vlogs as well as his lovely wife, uh, Beth, over to meet Anti Shuex. Big Boy Cheng, every time we have like a visitor, every time we have a visitor here, it's nice to be able to bring them here to Big Boy yeah. Cheng. And just a quick shout out to the previous visitor, Seth. Yeah. Hi, Seth. Uh, hi, Seth. And hi, okay. Christian. 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 So, you guys have been excellent guests and it's always been nice to have them here, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, we'll just show them around. We'll tour them around the place. And I'll uh, thank you for being our trusty guide <laughs> always. So, yeah, guys. Make sure to check out Anti Shoe Expert on his Instagram account. Link down below. Well, since we are here in his collection, might as well check out some of the latest sneakers. We have, of course, the Travis Scott Jordan 1s. I don't know if this is releasing in the Philippines. Uh, the word going around is that it will actually drop sometime May 11 over at Titan. That's what I heard. Not really sure, but hopefully we get to see a local release. As you guys can see, it has that dark, dark brown color for the upper. You have that white. You have that excellent material. You have Cactus Jack along the middle side, very close. You have the logo, of course, here at the back, and you have the inverted swoosh that's put, basically put a little bit lower to the side of the shoe. Definitely a very heat pair, especially if you want like a low-key fire kind of sneaker uh, that you want to add to your collection. Price of this one though will probably go up, so if you do have the chance to be able to cop it for retail over at Titan, make sure that you do so. Now while walking around, this really caught my attention. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. So this is like the Mars Yard, like new sneaker. Yes, this is a sneaker. It's not like a vomit bag. It's <laughs> it is a sneaker. So you do have like a blue midsole here. You have like, I don't know what you call this, it's like a sneaker protector and then you have the actual shoe inside. Some people actually cut the upper part to be able to show the Mars Yard sneaker inside this wrapper and then they just leave the blue midsole showing. So this one I think sells for over a thousand dollars now. So really crazy to be able to see it here at DJ Big Boy Cheng's collection. <music> 